I'm a big fan of cigars. I love smoking cigars. I haven't used this one. It's my, my humidor right here. Uh, a friend of mine, shout out to Matt Miko, Skate Creations. He made me a humidor wrapped with all recycled skateboards. It's pretty dope. My actual humidor that I use to keep my stogies in here. I just cleaned it out and like organized it. But I got my little cigar collection. Come on. Can't you see I'm working here? Huh? I'm working here. Scoot, scoot. Got my drawers in here. Yeah, my, my cigar collection. These, this is my uh, domestic cigar collection. This is like my Dominicans and my Nicaraguans, and um, not my, not where I keep the Cubans. This is my Monte Cristo drawer. I just love like the artwork that comes on the cigar wrappers and like and the boxes that they come in. So I, I kind of I collect the boxes. So every time I get a box of cigars, so much craftsmanship and like style to it. I feel like it's, if we throw it away, like, why would you throw that away? And now I got my Cohiba box. Shout out to Andrew Reynolds, the boss. He brought me this back from Cuba. Shout out to him, much love. For these ones, I even got a custom cigar box as a gift. So, they were in here. So, yeah, I just like, love the artwork. Little Frente, Fuente. Then, I'll show you my other humidor. Where I keep my Cuban cigars, because you know I gotta keep them Cuban, so follow me right here real quick. Okay, so over here is where I keep my my Cuban cigars and my Prometheus. Right climate. I like to keep these things to keep them at that right right climate, but here's all my Cubans. Right now I got a bunch of Monte Cristo number twos. I got some Cohibas. So these are like when I get with my cigar squad, shout out to the smoke squad. This is the stash we smoke from, you know. When the homies get together, chop it up, light some of these up, pour a little glass of scotch, and you know, have a have a, a grown man kind of evening. Got the torch right here, keeps that lit. You know, got the got the cutters in here. Uh, it's the grown man zone right here, you know? After all the hard work's done, you want to kick back and celebrate, that's the zone you go to right there. Another little cool little item that I, that I, that I like. So right here, got a little piece of artwork. So I, I think it's a little crooked, actually. Huh, no pun intended. Crooked, because this is a, a hand-drawn picture from Mark Gonzalez. Um, yeah, those of you who don't know, he has a skateboard company called Crooked, so pun, no pun intended. Uh, but yeah, I keep that. The Gons is an OG legend. So when I rode for this company called Venture, Venture Trucks, um, they keep a whole drawer of artwork that he's just done, and they framed it and sent it to me and welcomed me to the team like that. So that's, a, that's this is one that's very special to me. Shout out to the Gons. Yeah. Show a couple little of my, like, I guess some memorabilia that I keep. These are some different boards that all have different special meanings to me, like one competitions in. This one was a do tour in Portland. This was all a street league Portland win. This was my first graphic, Plan B. Another street league win. This is X Games win. Tampa Pro win. And this one right here, this is special. Anybody who's seen my third commercial for my third shoe. Just waking up in the morning. It was today's Good Day theme, the Ice Cube song, where he made his cameo. Kobe and Ice Cube both made a cameo in it. Shout out to them. Thank you, guys. Um, this is the actual skateboard I was skating in that commercial where I switched trade the triple set. So that was a special one to me. So kept it saved it and over here like I want to keep I keep the trophy stuff upstairs because I I feel like if I put it downstairs and people come over like I'm being too into myself but at the same time like I want to be proud and remember it too because like I work hard for it so I kind of keep it upstairs so right here is a board from another X Games that I won and um, 
my roommate, Dan Abadi, shout out to Dan, one of my best friends, um, snuck the board away. Because I always keep, if I win a contest, I always keep the board in the shoes. So he somehow snuck it without me noticing, uh, got it to Nike, and the folks at Nike dipped it in, in bronze. They bronzed it. And then congratulations on an amazing season, always striving for perfection, whatever. But like, this is the actual board. I was skating in the X Games. And they dipped it, and bro, you can see all the marks, the stickers that were on there, everything. Like, it's pretty cool that they did that. So this one's a special one. This this was like an advertisement for my second shoe. Just keep various, you know, just various memories from from your career, man. You look back on things, and at the time it's happening, you don't necessarily know how special it will be to yourself. And as time goes on, it becomes more special. You become more grateful and thankful for, you know, things you've been able to do and be part of. You know, just different little... This was a contest I won in Seattle. The LG Open they used to have, you know, 10 years ago. This is a shoe box from when my 7 shoe came out. Keep that there. Here's another one from my second shoe to add. And these, to me... Are my most special trophies that I've ever won it's from Street League. My three times I was able to win Street League. So one fell apart though, my truck fell off. I gotta re glue that back on there. But these are special to me because anybody who's skated in Street League knows how damn hard it is to win Street League. It's it's hard to get into the into the finals, let alone win one. So these three times I was able to pull it off are very special to me because I was skating in, against, in my opinion, the best skateboarders in the world. And um, so I keep these here, man. These are super important and special to me to know that at one point I've done it three times. Um, and then over here, yeah, just more like shoe campaign. This is when I was probably like 11. This is right probably just before I started skateboarding. I got to meet the president at the time, President Mr. Bill Clinton. There's my pops and my stepmom over there. So that was pretty cool. Here's my trophy from Tampa Pro, my first place trophy. Um, this one was from Street League as well. They do a um, they give you an award for like Skaters Choice Award, where the skaters vote who they wanted, who they felt like skated the strongest that weekend or whatever. And this time around, they chose me, which I'm thankful. Thank, thank you guys. So. That's real special to me because this was like voted from my peers, you know, so very grateful for that indeed. And uh, oh, up here is a little board we did from the commercial that Ice Cube and Kobe were featured in. That's the, the low rider Ice Cube ran over my skateboard with. Um, for those of you who don't know, your boy can play the guitar actually a little bit. And for those of you who don't know, I also can play regular and switch and the guitar I could play both ways so that's kind of always been a thing for me like skateboarding I, I'm you know people know me for skating regular and switch but that started before I started skating that started when I started playing guitar I'm a left-handed person naturally and I just I play but I for some reason was comfortable playing right-handed but Jimi Hendrix my favorite guitar player and Nirvana's my favorite band and Kurt Cobain and Jimi Hendrix both played lefty and I was like well I'm lefty and I want to play like like my hero so I made myself learn how to play left-handed because I'm like I'm left-handed I should be playing left-handed just like my heroes so that's kind of how that started I might give you guys a concert <laughs> here we have um photos from when my first shoe came out so these are the different angles on my first shoe and these are just different board graphics from over the years that when I used to be on girl skateboards when I used to be on plan B you know just gotta keep the memories so and then right here so I keep my X Games medals been fortunate enough to do it four times so thank God for that and this is kind of like my wall of inspiration um, some of my heroes that I look up to, I like to keep, you know, I like to keep my heroes around, keep me inspired and motivated, keep me keep striving to improve and be better. 
I shot with this uh, photographer, Justin J. Shout out to him. Uh, he was shooting me for some reason a few years back, and I had mentioned to him, like, we were talking about hip-hop, right? and I mentioned him, Jay-Z was my favorite. He's like, oh, I shot with Jay-Z before. I'll send you some prints. And uh, he sent me these ones. Hove and Diddy right there. Jay on the set of Girls, Girls, Girls music video. Bruce Lee, the master, of course, of course. Muhammad Ali, the legend. You know, you got to stay inspired by the greats. This one right here I got last year for my birthday. Shout out to the homie Ivan Barrios. Um, he's DJ Khaled's like personal videographer, photographer. And uh, um, he also knows I'm a great fan of Hove. And he sent me some prints of, of, of photos that he shot of Hove. So shout out to Ivan. Thank you so much, brother. Um, and then over here, you know, painting, Hove, of course. And then some of, some of my heroes in skateboarding right here. Minus this clown right here. But um, shout out to Alfonso Rawls for the artwork. Signed right here by Jamie Thomas, of course. Guy Mariano. Eric Costin. To me, in my mind, the best to ever do it. The Michael Jordan of skateboarding. And Day One Song. To the, the ageless phenom. Um, killing it. As I just showed you, Guy Mariano. I was at a T.B. Jefferson's house one day. One of my friend, photographer. And he was doing an article on Guy Mariano. And he just had papers of different signatures of Guy Mariano signing it for, he was going to do something with it in the article. And I, and I stole it. I just took it. So I got Guy Mariano's signature in like three different ways. Had to frame that. That was cool. That was, that was very special to me. Of course, this damn dog that's been bugging us all day. Um, a, a fan actually <laughs> drew this of her. And of course, my girl set this all up for me, so she had to frame it and put it right here, you know. And this is a ta my tattoo I got from Mr. Cartoon as well. This is the the party trace. It's right here on my on my right arm. Shout out to Mr. Cartoon for the love. He's always showed me love over the years, man. Blessing. Over here we got a couple of memorabilia pieces here. This is from when my first shoe dropped. Nike made these bookends for me. They took a pair and they dipped it in bronze. So they got a theme for doing that with me. So they got it right there. This Bruce Lee statue was personally given to me by Miss Shannon Lee, Bruce Lee's daughter. So this is very special to me. Right here I got a print, Eric Costin, 1998 photo issue, of Transworld Magazine. Shot by my friend Mike Blayback. He gave me a print. And up here is the actual skateboard that Ice Cube ran over in the, uh, the lowrider. And over here, autograph, autograph Illmatic record from Nas himself. That's a, that's a special one. And then also, from my fourth shoe commercial, I got this handwritten note from Nas himself. You know how to keep that. Shout out to Nas. Like to keep things. Oh, this one's kind of cool to me too, or really cool to me too, is this photo down here with Mrs. Obama. That was really cool. We got to meet her a few years ago. Ain't mad at that. A couple of special mementos over here. Right here, this guitar right here was a gift. And uh, it's signed by the Eagles. So that one I kind of just keep there to display. This guitar right here was handcrafted um, by an artisan guitar maker in Spain for your boy, for me. Uh, this was when my fifth shoe came out for Nike. This was a gift. Shout out to my boy Daniel Lebron on Spain who coordinated this and made this happen. Put my little logo up here and everything. So this is like handcrafted classical guitar um love it every so often i pick it up strum it and you know put the gold boards the primitive gold boards here i, I, I just really like the gold foil kind of put them in there just for the little steez some more alfonso rawls designs of the legend matt hensley and then over here is a guitar i won when i won Tampa Pro back in 2010 
won this guitar. And this guitar was a guitar made uh, from some friends of mine out in Argentina. When I went to Argentina for my first time, uh, they, um, they saw that I had been playing guitar. And so these guys make guitars out of recycled skateboards. So this is all skateboard, a used skated skateboard, every bit of it except for the metal parts, obviously, but this is like one of the cool, you know, one of a kind. You can see where the tail was skated, everything up there on the, on the headstock, skated board, and they straight turned it into a really good working electric guitar. And it's lefty too, well, pick the boy up. I'm a little liquor cabinet type thing. It's not. It's more like just different, uh, different uh, scotches that I've had over the years. Shout out, Hove. You know we drank that Douce, straight up. Um, then over here is just a couple like more little memorabilia from like when I went to Munich, Germany. They made me these Steins. Um, so I got a few of them here, like the glass ones, and this one. Many people know, many people don't know. I was part of a, a, a brand called St. Archer's. It was a, a brewery that we started from friends of mine and I. And, um, so we had some steins, some St. Archer steins made as well. Um, you know, this is like kind of like, I tried to feel, I tried to give this room kind of like a cigar lounge feel. Well, you know, because I love the cigars and the style of cigars and all that. So it's kind of my little like, Attempt at a cigar lounge. Boy's old, man. Been around. A lot of stuff, a lot of great memories, a lot of great times, but still more great times to come, you know. So we gotta keep collecting, keep adding.